What's going on everybody? It's your boy Dr. Corey here and I got my foam roller technique for you. We're going to start off on the ground. So grab your foam roller and we're going to start on the low back. So this is something you can do if you're going to do a workout, if you wake up and you feel stiff, or if you just want to kind of move around with a little less pain. We're going to start on your low back. So you want to get on your butt and you can kind of tilt back. Sometimes you need to tuck your shirt in because it'll take your shirt. So what you do is you're going to bridge up on your hips. So lift your butt up from the ground. You're going to stay flexed forward. So you want to kind of stay in that uh, sit-up position. You want your back muscles kind of stretched nice and light. And you're going to bend your knees and you're going to go up and down your spine with your foam roller. Simple, right? So if your shirt gets stuck, you might need to kind of pull that down. But we're going to start kind of like mid-back. So start right there in that middle of the back. And then what we're looking for are like little tender spots. So when you find a spot that hurts, like right about there, then you're going to go below it and above it and just kind of smooth it out. And you're not going to fix it in one day. So this is going to take some time. So don't try to get too aggressive, but just kind of smooth out your muscles. So we're going to get down to that low back, kind of loosen up that lumbar spine. And then again, you stay in that kind of flexed spine position. And then as you bend your knees and kind of lift your hips up, you're going to roll that foam roller up your back. So then once you get up here between your shoulder blades, you want to take your hands and you want to try to put them behind your head and bring your elbows together to separate those shoulder blades. So you separate them and then kind of rock up and down. So again, I'm using my hips and my knees to control my upper body. So you're going up through that meat in that upper back. Remember to breathe. So you're looking for tender spots. So if it doesn't hurt, you can kind of just move along. So again, we're doing low back, mid back, upper back, and then you're going to go to your lats. So your lat is muscle from right about your mid rib here to your armpit. So roll to your side, stick that foam roller into your armpit, and then you're going to kind of tilt up. You don't want to be all the way on your side. You want to make sure your shoulders in a good position too, because that'll hurt. So what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of lift your body up with your legs again and you're putting pressure into your lat. Now you don't want to go too low. You don't want to go into those ribs. You want to go up into the armpit. Oh, that's a good one right there. So up and down and again, try to breathe. And sometimes you can just kind of sit and hold it there and then you can even like move your arm around a little bit and you'll feel oh, like that spot right there. Oh, that's a good one, but we got to keep going. So low back, mid back, upper back. Then we go to the lats. So then I got to go over, do the other lat. So again, put it in that armpit and you're just kind of going up and down, tilt that chest up. You're kind of getting your back and you can kind of pull your arm around. Oh, that's another one. My lats are sore. Oh, oh okay. So lat, and then you're going to go to your obliques. So you're going to find that hip and you're going to just kind of roll it down to your love handle. So this is the muffin top spot. Again, you don't want to go into the bones. You don't want to go into your rib cage, but you're trying to get that love handle. So roll around in that a little bit. Look for tender spots. Okay, not too bad. Coming around the other side, same thing. You're getting that love handle, so you're kind of angled up a little bit. Rolling around. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, so up your back, lats, obliques, and then you're going to flip over to your stomach you're into your quads. So you're going to take that roller and you're going to aim for the top of that thigh. Now you're going to go on your forearms. You're going to put on your, uh, your other leg, your knee over there. So you have three points of contact to control how much weight you put through this quad. So again, think about it like a rolling pin and you're just trying to roll out some spaghetti, roll out the muscles. So you're looking for tender spots. So once you find a knot somewhere, you can kind of stay there for a second then go a little above, a little below. And just kind of roll it out. Simple as that, right? So up and down the front of the thigh. And you can take your thigh and kind of roll it. And you can get that outside quad, that lateral quad. People like to get in the IT band. But all that stuff is debatable of what you're doing. But basically, you're just trying to smooth out your thigh. So roll it out on the side. And then, this is the best one, is the inside thigh. So for this one, you're going to kind of frog leg out a little bit. You're going to rotate that foam roller like 45 degrees start just above your knee and then in and out so there's a point on the inside of your thigh about three finger widths from your knee up where a bunch of muscles insert 
So if you take three fingers, go right there, there's a spot right there that's usually pretty tender. So just kind of smoothing that out, rolling that around, going up in that groin. Okay, same thing on the other side. Start on the front of the thigh, round, up and down, rolling that thigh around, get to the outside, go on the side, and then come angle it, and then do inside thigh, okay? Pretty simple, pretty easy. Sounds kind of complicated, but again, you're really just looking for tender spots. So if you don't find anything that hurts, you can just kind of move along, okay? So I'm gonna do that one more time. Fast forward so everybody gets that nice and smooth with less talking. 